This is MetroLink Insights, and this is Manchester's International Airport. This being the main airport serving Greater Manchester, it has a few transport connections. From the city centre to the airport, it takes an average of 17 minutes by train, 25 minutes driving, 45 minutes by bus, which is understandable, but the tram, the MetroLink, for some reason is even slower than that, taking a whole hour when that time, as I'll show in this video, can be cut down to 40, with a few major improvements to the route. But first, let's go over why the line is so slow. For one, the original plan for the airport line was for it to have a loop around Withenshaw Hospital and Davenport Green, along with the slower part via Withenshaw Town Centre. But unfortunately, only that slower part was constructed. For another thing, this line runs on or beside the streets a lot, which means speed limits of 30 miles an hour or less, slower than their top speed of 50 miles an hour, and a lot of tram signals. In fact, on the airport line, the tram speed only hits 50 miles an hour in one place, for just under half a mile. And for a third reason, this line does a lot of sharp turns around corners. In all of these locations, where the tram is limited to speeds of 10 miles an hour or less. And now that we've gone over the main reasons, let's get rid of them with these changes. Beginning on the smaller side of things, first we need to change which city crossing it runs through. Since 2017, there have been two ways to get directly to St Peter's Square from Victoria. Either via Market Street, which takes about 7 minutes, or via the new city crossing at Exchange Square, taking 5 minutes. Yes, this will only speed up the route by about 2 minutes, but it also makes more use of the Exchange Square city crossing that has only had two tram routes running through it, one of them part-time, since it opened. There are also quite a few speed restrictions in place, as of 2024, on Market Street's crossing, making those trams even slower. Not to mention that the Piccadilly Gardens area is already overflowing with trams. Taking away the airport services would ease things up on the network between Piccadilly Gardens and Cornbrook, and decrease the chance of trams to different places getting congested at literally one platform at St Peter's Square and the adjacent platform having one tram to the same destination show up every six minutes. The second change is something that I came up with, which involves shifting the route from running on the South Manchester line via Thurswood and St Werber's Road, and instead running it past Old Trafford and Stretford on the Altrincham line. But this would also mean a way to connect the Altrincham and airport lines would have to be constructed. First, after passing underneath the M60, the line would diverge into Priory Gardens and run alongside the M60 until the Sale Water Park footbridge, where there could possibly be a tram station. But there's already a station called Sale Water Park, so maybe not. I've never heard of a tram stop name switching locations, but if that did happen, then the current Sale Water Park station might be renamed to Sale Moor. The line would keep travelling along the M60 until just before the next junction, where it might dive underneath a tunnel of 300 metres, before reappearing near the current Sale Water Park tram station and joining with the airport line. This change will connect the Altrincham line, the busiest Metrolink line, closer to the airport by tram, taking the journey time from Altrincham to the airport from 68 minutes to 47. And that's without the last change in this video. Also, since the airport line relies much more on street running and every signal being clear to proceed, running via an ex-railway line allows for both more speed and more assurance among passengers that their tram will show up on time. And this also speeds up the airport route by another 5 minutes. And finally, the last change is something that was proposed initially for the airport line extension, although only part of it was completed due to lack of funding. This was also the case for the South Manchester line, which was supposed to go all the way to Stockport, 
but as of 2024, is still at East Didsbury. The section of the airport line that wasn't finished will be called the airport loop, when or if it's eventually constructed. And this extension would spur off of the current line at Roundthorn and continue straight ahead to Withenshaw Hospital. It would then travel over a bridge to get to New Old Road Stop, which would serve New Old Green, and then Davenport Green, and would traverse its way through the motorway here, and maybe serve the car rental at Airport West, and also serve Airport Terminal 2 before travelling through a tunnel to get to the current Manchester Airport stop. I think that Manchester Airport should be renamed to something like Airport Central to keep both stops consistent with their names to avoid unnecessary confusion. And also, Manchester Airport Terminal 2 is kind of a mouthful. Another idea is to remove Roundthorn stop and replace it with the new Withenshaw Hospital due to it being so close to the previous and next stations at Bagley and Martinscroft. The airport loop should take off 10 minutes of journey time, thus not counting speed restrictions currently on the network, leaves us with a full time of 41 minutes from Victoria to Airport Central via Exchange Square, St Peter's Square, Deansgate Castlefield, Cornbrook, Trafford Bar, Old Trafford, Stratford, Salewater Park, Northern Moor, Withenshaw Park, Moor Road, Bagley, Withenshaw Hospital, New Old Road, Davenport Green, Airport West, Airport Terminal 2, and Airport Central. But what about the old? We can't just stop using all of these tram tracks in Withenshaw, they're everywhere and people still use it. A service that goes via St Werber's Road and Withenshaw Town Centre could still operate to the airport alongside the new service, perhaps up to Cornbrook, forming a 6 minute tram frequency between Northern Moor and Bagley. And the two services could terminate on opposite platforms of Airport Central, if the adjacent platform would open to Metrolink. So that's my idea for the new airport route on the Manchester Metrolink. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and listening, this video took a really long time to make. I do community posts on which video my viewers want next, and thanks to the people who voted for this. It won by quite a few, but Victoria to Piccadilly got some as well. If you want to take part in one of these, and be notified when the next episode comes out, then please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm still getting used to this video format with voiceover, so please feel free to give me feedback in the comments, or just share your thoughts. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.